Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero back here again with another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. Really hope you enjoyed the last game there. We have another one for you today. This one is from the archives. That's right, it's from January of 2010. And look who we have. We have Seinfeld, which is obviously going to be Technique himself playing as Blackhand. And he will be facing off against Eclipse. Now, this was the year that Eclipse really got really good and should have got his Expert Badge. And, uh, I mean, he only got his expert badge after he showed how much he dominated in 2011 with six of the top ten greatest replays there. But anyway, this one here from January 2010. Let's jump straight in. Here we are on Tournament Decision, and let's roll right up over here. And we're going to have Technique playing as the green black hand. So there you go. That's probably his favorite faction. Also plays a fair bit of Nod as well. And if we jump over here, we can see Eclipse, who is definitely... I, I much rather his GDI than his Nod. And uh, I think he's favored GDI much more heavily. But again, this was from uh, his more earlier times uh, in Kane's Wrath. Again, I can't quite remember when Eclipse showed up on the scene, actually. That's really bad for me. But uh, this is from 2010, and he is playing Technique. And he's actually gone for double racks. So here we go. Double racks, pretty popular this time. I usually go single racks. I've said that a lot. But it looks like Eclipse, he's going to take the front garrison. He's got faster scouts, and he knows that he can't... Uh, he knows he can easily outrun what Technique has. Technique is probably going to go around the side. Yeah, there you go. He's got his engineer coming around the side with that Cabal squad there. And both sides should cap their spikes quite readily. I mean, they both went for double racks by the looks of it. Uh, we got the Harvester harvesting at about a quarter. Yeah, Eclipse is almost at halfway there, so maybe getting a little bit of heads up there. Depends how you deploy your refineries, how close they are, what Tiberium crystals you choose to harvest first. Because Eclipse is actually going to come back first. Maybe it was a little bit quicker. You'd expect Black Hand to be quicker because their power plants build uh, much faster. Uh, it's extra two seconds on the GDI. Oh, Eclipse, you want to get in that structure? Yeah, not go around it, buddy. And now Technique is firing on this structure. He's probably going to destroy it first because the Cabals have a crazy damage output compared to what the Rifleman squad has. And Eclipse, unfortunately, isn't being able to fire on the structure from that position. He lost too many of his scouts and obviously for some reason just doesn't want to fire. He could grab this garrison. That might help him out. Pitbull coming across, of course. He knows he's against Blackhand. And you can't really leave Black Hand unscouted and all taking some damage from that Cabal squad and firing on the rear armor as well. You can see that takes off about half the health of the Pitbull and he's going to come in. He's going to see that there's a buggy there and there's no hidden tech or anything like that. Second uh, ref comes up and it's going to be three half two refs. So Eclipse knows, all right, uh, I'm safe. I'm not going to get rushed or anything like that. But he's going to lose his Pitbull, so that's that's going to be a nice win for Technique there. He's not going to escape with that, especially with the buggy there. D buggy can't do much damage, but it will, of course, be able to beat the Pitbull when it's got that little health left. Technique now, what's he going for? He's going for another power plant, and he's going for Eco, and I'd assume that uh, Eclipse, now that he's scouted this, he's going to be very comfortable in going Eco. Was quite well known for getting really, really crazy Eco up, and uh, then just doing stupidly massive pushes that you wouldn't uh, dream even imaginable, but he just has so much economy behind it that he pulls it off, and he's up to five harvesters now with two ref. Probably going for another refinery, triple refinery, very popular on this map. And uh, yes, it looks like he's got about halfway done on the next refinery. So yeah, very standard opening here. I'm not <laughs> finding a little bit uh, hard to talk about what's going on here because they're, they're both really pushing Eco. This is Decision. Uh, they're both going triple ref, quite common there. And uh, Technique not even constructing anything from his Wharf actually. You would have thought he would have started working on his uh, sixth harvester there. He's going to have six now, but you really want seven and three. Seven and three is the ratio that you should be happy with. I mean, some people do put eight and three, but you're gonna have harvesters lining up and not doing anything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Eclipse has got seven, and now he's gonna stop. So all you noobs out there, seven and three is the ratio. And of course, if you don't know that five and two is the ratio for normal fields, well, you really should know that. There's uh, Technique's Harvester, a little bit delayed. Let's see if you put tech down there. He's got no kind of tech down. He has got a structure queued here. It could be an operation center. And is it gonna be an operation center? Yes, it is, placing it down. And uh, quickly, uh, he's probably gonna upgrade some of his power plants there. Meanwhile, what's happening over here? Oh, I thought Technique had the M spike for a second there, but it was actually the garrison showing up on the radar. There you can see the big green square there, and Technique just scouting around. He's going to be quite comfortable with this, and Eclipse is going for rocket APCs. I'd imagine a comm center is already down. APMO is on the way. He's upgraded all three of his power plants. Probably didn't need to upgrade them so fast, unless he's kind of gushing cash and doesn't want to do it later. Let's see what he's going to build. Orcas or hammerheads? It's going to be Orcas. Orca Strike comes in immediately, so Technique's going to know there's an airfield on the, on the, the field, I guess. But, uh, I mean, essentially, you don't want to use the Orca Strike immediately unless you want to fake out an airfield because it basically tells your opponent, hey, he's gone for airfield tech. He's probably going to have Orcas, and Technique's going to know about it. He's going to be able to put up double A defenses, and that uh, well, tech center is down by Technique as well now. The thing about the Orca Strike is it does reveal the map, so as it flies across, it's like a really good scout. 
And it looks like he's going to roll in here with these APCs. Probably not going to get much done because Obelisk will jump up. But again, Tenny, he split. Does he build Obelisk or does he build Double A? Because those Orcas now, he doesn't know where they are. There's actually four done. They're not quite here yet. And uh, it looks like Eclipse is going to go in. He could snipe this Harvester quite readily. There you go. And is he going to finish it off? He might as well sacrifice whatever units he can to get it. Because this full Tiberium, one of the... Uh, oh, what's he doing? He's wasting those rockets on the buggies there. He wants to use them on the Harvesters. And he's got this aggression going. He doesn't have any tech center, but he has a lot of units. And Technic struggling to defend it out. There's nothing really to stop the Orcas at all. And he should be able to... If he focuses down that last Harvester there, that's not good focusing by Eclipse. There you go. He repairs it, so he does save that. Uh, that's nice work there. Technic forcing the cell up here. And a few harvesters went down there. He really essentially only lost those rocket PCs. Uh, yeah, it was just those ones and maybe a pit bull or two. All the orcas were completely undamaged. Now, this is the thing here. Technic couldn't... Uh I mean, he couldn't build Obelisk and he couldn't build Sam Turrets at the same time. He's got to choose one or the other. He does actually have a second MCV down here. I did not even see that. Eclipse is down here and there's an Obelisk right there. Oh man, that's going to be frustrating for Eclipse. There's Obelisk over the other side here. He's got his charged particle upgrade so he can spam Shredder Turrets as well. So he's going for some kind of double base play here. That's why he doesn't have much units. He's just counting on defending this out with what he's got. Was there a refinery? There's a refinery. Another beacon coming down here. It's probably going to be another Orca Strike. And Eclipse is putting up refinery. He's going to realize there's an obelisk there, and that's going to just shut him down. He needs a tech center, and he either needs lots of units to destroy these base defenses, or he needs a tech center. Oh, people is coming around, and these harvesters are going to be just about dead, but no, he's going to focus down the obelisk. I would have gone for the harvesters there, but I mean, he's got so many people that it really doesn't matter. There's no obelisk here. There's only these shredder turrets, and they're not going to have the DPS required to destroy these people fast enough before they can destroy both of these harvesters, or maybe actually. He's killing quite a few of the peoples now, but there's so many of them, they got such a high damage output still. They should be able to finish off this one harvester, and yes, they're going to, but most of the people are going to go down. So Technique's got a problem in the fact that he's gone double Conyard, but he doesn't really have much harvesters. He has rebuilt some of them. No, he hasn't rebuilt any. He's still on four, so he's got nothing down there. This is completely wasted expansion at the moment. The Obelisk is gone. All of a sudden, Eclipse, he's just struck those surgical strikes there, is what I'll call them. Those surgical strikes have actually come down and just removed all of Technic's economy. And Eclipse can do whatever he wants. I reckon he's got a tech center. He's gonna he's got double war factory obviously from the start. And he's gonna you can see he's got a lot of money because there's a fair bit of silo, a fair bit of tip in those silos there on the refinery. But he's probably going straight for double yeah, double war factory juggernauts and Technic is gonna be really hard pressed, especially since there's still orcas flying around. There is a Sam turret over here. Tip core is done. Technic still can mine quite readily over here. Harvesters have been pulled off the line. There's only three there now, so he's pulling more harvesters down there. Putting up ref, he's he's taking. You can see how he's taking a long time to get his economy right back up there. And a harvester gets sniped right on the edge of the field there. Eclipse just going around all these defenses, and it's forcing Technic to place more. He's going to sacrifice all his orcas now to get one more harvester. Is he going to get it? Yes, he's going to get it. So I guess essentially it was worth it. There's only one harvester here remaining on this field. Now I guess he can ex he can afford to expend orcas like that because he got the kills and they've been getting quite a few kills all game. And he can probably readily replace them. He is actually going to get, he's going to replace them unless he's building Firehawks for some reason. I mean, Firehawks can help against the base crawl, but you got to make sure you've got enough to destroy the targets here. And these Juggernauts now, they're going to wrap this up pretty tightly here. I'd imagine that uh, Technic's probably looking for a double Obelisk drop here. Orchestra comes in, gets eyes on this area here, sees there's a couple of Harvesters there. There's actually four there, so Technic is re really in a decent amount of tip here. Let's see what Eclipse does. Did he build a surveyor? Maybe he's going to send that to the top and keep his conyard available. I think he's looking, he's he's getting ready to perhaps abandon this in case Technic's base crawl gets out of control and he pushes in too deep. There is a purifier coming, but the purifier won't really be able to do much with this flame referee or the juggernauts unless it stops and uses its laser. If it stops, it's going to get hit by the artillery shells here. And uh, as you see, yeah, yeah, he's stopping now and uh, it looks like he's splitting his fire. Nothing much happening elsewhere. This uh, purifier coming in now, it's at about half health. There's our orcas are being rebuilt, so he wasn't obviously going for firehawks. And he does take the purifier, he should be able to capture that. Obelisk is down, and uh, these shredder turrets again. Even though they've got the charged particle beam, they still will take uh, some time to focus down some of these units, especially the, the juggernauts. They do have quite a lot of health there, you can see. And they're just immediately being splashed in there. He can regain, he can regain this juggernaut husk as well. So I'd expect to see a barracks out of clips very soon. He has nothing cued though. And it looks like Eclipse now, what's he going to do? He's got a lot of Juggernauts. What's Technique going to do? Uh, he, I mean, even if he has double Obelisk, he can just drop these structures so fast. There you go, he kills one Harvester and uh, only one shot of that Obelisk, which definitely wasn't worth it there because it's a $2,000 structure here. And Eclipse has just got plenty of other stuff here. There's the racks. Hasn't pumped out any engineers. Need to clear, clears the, needs to clear the field here a little bit here. He's even going to focus these guys down. Technique is up there. Eclipse, where did your Surveyor go? It may have been destroyed. It may have been cut off. I don't know where it's... Oh, he crushed the purifier husk. Oh, that's not going to be nice. 
He's going to want to get that other Juggernaut, though. And he's pushing forward. I think Technique wants him to, to come into this area, but he needs to place those defenses right now because his MCV is getting shelled. And that's his ground control as well as his build there. He has got one more, of course. He's got these tip core bikes coming down, but I honestly can't see what they're going to do. And yeah, he's going to turn and focus. He might as well focus the Obelisk, which is actually targeting Harvesters, not Juggernauts. And uh, now he can turn and destroy this uh, MCV. Uh, Technique really can't hold a hope, hold to, hope to hold it. Sonic Emitter comes down, and Technique is not going to be impressed because I think he was counting on these bikes to do a bit of damage here. But this Sonic Emitter, oh, it just, just eats up those bikes, doesn't it? And all the gun towers here. There are Orcas, they have been striking something, and they do stop those units from progressing there. And uh, Zone Troop is coming out. There must be a Marv readily on the way somewhere. No, no, there is nothing. And uh, the MCV is down for Technique. He really can't hope to hold this area now with no ground control, except outside these uh, these refiners. Just a little bit, uh, the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The Juggernauts can just shell from range and they will be fine. But he has moved his other MCV up there to the top left-hand side. He still hasn't refined all of his Tiberium here. You can see just how detrimental Eclipse was in the in the attempt to destroy all that that economy. He obviously did lose his Surveyor at some point, and he's sending that uh, that APC out there to clear those scouts there. He'll probably be looking to move around here. Technic has harvested most of the Tiberium. He's calling back his uh, his uh, units as well. So Eclipse is going to be happy. He still has a bit of Tib here. He can go and uh, collect this Tib here. He can take the Spike, which is I don't expecting that's what he's going to do. Repairing up these very heavily damaged Juggernauts here, and he's going to push forward again. Obviously doesn't have a... Uh, there, another Surveyor coming out now. He obviously doesn't have a Marv I don't know why he built those Zone Troopers, maybe just to clear up any bikes and stuff like that. And uh, these guys are going to come around here, remove the last ground control here for Technique, and he's going to uh, have to abandon this field. There are Orcas. They could snipe down that uh, Harvester, and yes, they're going to see that, and they're going to snipe it down. They have hard points as well, by the way, so they're going to be extra powerful. I'm not sure where... Oh, no, they just they just let it go there. I don't know what Eclipse is doing, recalling them to base. Just wants to play a little bit safe. The Surveyor has not moved out yet. There's something happening back here. There are Tibcor bikes rolling. Didn't even see Technique build these, but they're getting slammed. This is the problem here, especially on Decision Tibcor bikes. I mean, they get pushed into the chokes, and you can just get your rockets on target so easily. There's a lot of garrisons. He has got a decent amount there, but... I'm not sure how he hopes to destroy uh, Eclipse's economy when he has to drive right into here. This is not going to happen. There's a bunker there. There's towers there. There's the structures here. Eclipse can uh, defend uh, quite readily there. These Juggernauts are not yet moving out. I'd expect him to take that. And uh, Firehawks. Not the Firehawks. The Orcas are moving around. And they do take a swing at that Harvester. But no, they don't want to get too close to those typical bikes. And they're actually going to get fired at. But no, they will be able to escape over that ridge there. I think just basically infantry and uh, infantry and juggernauts now is all that Eclipse needs. And he's actually going for a Marv here now, so those bikes aren't going to touch it. But Technic's probably going to go for Ent Buggies. It's his last remaining upgrade on the Tex, and he has the other two already. And he is refining up here, so this is a problem. Oh, there's a Tib Chem Plant. So expect to get hit with a Catalyst or maybe a Tib Vein here. Hopefully Eclipse doesn't uh, stray too close to enemy Tib Fields or Tib Fields in general. This Surveyor is still not making a move. I don't think Eclipse realizes it's there. Maybe he had a, uh, a, what do you call it, a waypoint, but he just didn't follow it. Bikes coming in again. These just these rocket squads can just sit here and there's not much the bikes can do about them. They don't really want to go past those. I'm surprised Eclipse, Eclipse hasn't bogged it up a little bit more. There are some pit bulls coming out. So I don't think he really needs to pit bull spam. He could just build some Predator tanks and just flat out win that. Uh, you know, with the chokes, just choke him in here. But uh, Technique does have Tib Kemplar. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. He has called in the Tiberium uh, support power there to get himself some more money. Eclipse, I'm surprised he hasn't made a, a, a big move up here. He really is uh, taking his sweet time here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, he's got the Juggernauts, he's got the units, he's got the Orcas. He's mostly been working on the Orca Harass, but even they're staying around here now. I'm not quite sure why he hasn't attempted to take this area and take this spike. Because uh, Technique is just establishing himself up here now. And he is going for a Redeemer. So what's he going to do about that? Getting some repairs on that bike buggy. I'd assume Emp Buggies. No, Emp Buggies is not coming along yet, but the Marv did just uh, appear out of the Reclamator Hub, so we can expect maybe he'll be going for that. Or maybe he's just going to rely on his Redeemer there. I'm not sure what technique he's got. He's got a lot of bike buggy coming out. Still no Emp Coils coming for him. And Eclipse is finally moving out in this direction here. But, I mean, he's got some people here. He's got a tower, I guess, and he's got some infantry here. But if all those bike bikes come down, they might actually be able to just tank their way through it. I'm not sure how cost effective it's going to be. But really, Eclipse hasn't set up a too strong a defense here. It's mainly just a few scattered units. And the, and the buggies go forward first and smash all the rockets. And now the tip core bikes are going to come in. And you see how much rocket damage these buggies tank. But hiding behind the war factory, that's a nice move there from Eclipse. But really, this harvester, oh, he's, he's going to get killed. That's a bad day for him. And uh, these guys here are going to actually make their escape. The orcas are going to be forced to fight. I don't really agree with that. He doesn't really need to engage with the orcas. Uh, and he does have Ent Buggies now, Ent Buggies is completed. Will he be grabbing that Spike? That Spike is not even developed yet. Yeah, uh, Technique must require silos actually. He's only got these production structures here. He's going to be pumping out a lot of units I reckon quite fast. 
And now, now he's got a problem over here. Ant Buggy's here. Oh yeah, that's right. It is done, so I was going to say, if it wasn't done, he's probably just about ready to lose his tech lab, and then uh, Clips would be almost unstoppable, because what can he stop him with if he didn't have Ant Buggies? He's got Ant Buggies now, and he's got enough of them actually targeting the power plant. He's got to be careful here, because uh, this is actually quite vulnerable, because if the Ant gets off, and the Ant is going to get off, oh man, here comes Technique. There's nothing to... Oh, there's some APCs coming. He's going to need the Orcas to fight here as well, and the APCs even get Amped. Nothing amps the Marv though, the Marv will be out of clean house on these Ent Buggies. I'm not sure that was the engagement that Technique wanted. Raging goes off, but it misses completely, and it's going to be a Tib Vapor, I think. Unless it gets shot down, or it just manages to launch before it gets shot down. But Juggernauts, they're heavy armor, they're not going to be phased by that. You can see that most of them just take that quite well. And the Redeem is coming in now, but really, what is he going to one-shot these guys at a time? Ent Buggies are coming in, he needs to disable the Marv right now, but he's going to lose his, uh, what do you call it? He's going to lose his uh, Redeemer immediately, and Emp goes off, emping the Marv there. All the Tim Core bikes frying, oh man, look at that! <laughs> look at the bikes, it just got annihilated by that or that Rocket Blast. Shockwave Artillery comes down, Emp Buggies on the Juggernaut, APCs are left to fend for themselves. APCs get Emped as well, Juggernaut starting to power back up now. And uh, Eclipse, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to clean this up. He's going to get re-empt immediately. There's just enough bikes left. I mean, those bikes are very powerful. They just don't have any armor. I'm not sure where the Orcas are, but they're not here. And he will be able to overwhelm this position. There's only one APC remaining. These Juggernauts now pirate. out. Look at them. They're all veterans as well. That's going to help him. And here come the Orcas. And the Pitbulls coming in for Eclipse. Oh, man, this game just got really hot really fast. And he will be able to clean up all these units here. But can he re-secure these husks? They're deep inside enemy territory here. There's one, two, three, four, five husks on the ground there. And you can use this one juggernaut now to put pressure on the remainder base. There's no build radius here at all. A little bit of build radius up there, but that's not going to help him at all. And this juggernaut now is just going to shell this one remaining war factory down. But yeah, that could have gone either way, really. It just came down to the decisions there, and it was crazy for a moment there. But that game, this game is, is yeah, like I said, it's got really good. There is the barracks. But uh, he's not calling in. He needs to get those husks. Uh, Eclipse can't leave these lying around. There's five husks really close together. Pitbull's coming in now. They will be able to one-shot that. And the Orcas may be forced to fight against these uh, Tibcore bikes. They get a volley in. One of them gets shot down. Another one gets shot down. But uh, this War Factory is just about to go down. Harvester's coming out there. I'm not sure if they're drawing fire or if they're trying to get to this Tiberium. Could be either or. And these Orcas fly forward. Oh, no. I'm not sure. They may have been on whole fire stance. I'm not sure what Eclipse is doing with those. They're probably on an attack with some kind. The War Factory is down. And I don't think Technic has enough bikes to defeat the Pipples and the APCs remaining here. That Harvester just chilling. What do we got, Eclipse? Where are the Engineers, Eclipse? He's got a he's got a Mar, but he's left those uh, those husks down there. He really needs those husks. Tip core bikes coming back in. They may be able to slam that one Juggernaut, and they do. That's going to be a big win for Technic. He wanted to get that one Juggernaut because now there's no artillery and he can defend this uh, area quite readily with the Obelisk here. Eclipse needs to pull back here. I'm not sure why he's engaging. He still hasn't taken that spike down there either. Another Marv is coming, and I feel like this is the stage in the game. Remember from January 2010, people, too much reliance on the epic unit here, and he's just rebuilt it straight away. It's got nothing in it. We've got a battle marker down here. It's just a harvester trying to steal a unit, uh, Tiberium there. Eclipse could sell a fair bit of this off. He doesn't need all of that. And now the husks are getting destroyed. One of the husks goes down straight away. Orca strikes have been coming in all game. They've been quite good. There's only a few bikes left, a few infantry squads here. There's only one APC here for Eclipse, but the Marv is here. It's got a rail unit, can focus down a small amount of infantry. Will that Harvester escape? Maybe, depends if that tower manages to work it down. No, it's probably going to escape there, but again, Eclipse, he could sell off a lot. Still got that Surveyor just chilling by the MCV. He's like, hey, MCV, what's going on? I'm just going to stay here. It's much safer down there than it is going out. I mean, it, there's really nowhere it can go now, because Technic has control of this field. It's basically dry, and uh, he's not actually returning for another Redeemer now. He's got his Tech Center down. Unless he's already got one, he's already got one out. Oh man, I got the sound disabled so it doesn't re-echo through my mic because uh, I don't want to wear headphones because it's hot. <laughs> and, and I can't hear when the epic unit comes out. But anyway, it looks like, it. look at that, he's destroying He's finally reclaiming one of the husks. He may get a second. Uh, Rage Gen goes off, it's going to immediately drop straight back down. Oh man, he's got two engineers. Here come the engineers. Oh man, like three minutes too late, Eclipse. Eclipse, that's bad. Oh man, he went, he went from like six juggernauts uh, to five husks. And only recovered two of them. These two engineers now, which uh, were brought obviously to help uh, regain Huss, are actually going to go straight into the Marv now. So he's got the Juggernauts, he's got the Marv. There's no way for Technique to disable the Marv. What's happening over there? It's a pit bull. But there was some kind of bombers coming in. 
and I think yeah, he needs to destroy these bikes. One shotting them with oh shockwave artillery goes off, and the Redeemer walks through it like a boss. No, not quite. Almost, he almost got there, but the Ent buggy, one of the Ent buggies, manages to get off the Ent blast. There's no more Ent here though, and uh, the Redeemer and the Mar both at max health. And here come the Zone Trooper drop pods. That's going to be big trouble for Technique because he doesn't have any flame in the Redeemer. He's got no anti infantry, and these uh, Zone Troopers are going to be able to cause a lot of damage. The artillery does go down, but it's not really going to matter because he can't defeat the Mar with what he's got. There needs to be some more Ent buggies. Oh. Oh, he used Catalyst. Oh man, isn't that just heart crushing? Basically, he just spent four and a half thousand dollars on the drop pod, and then Technic used a two thousand dollar support power to completely counter it. Another beacon coming in. I don't think it's going to be Shockwave though. I really think he should just destroy these bikes, yeah, because he can just immediately vaporize them and stop that Tib Core firing on him. And he should be able to defeat the Redeemer anyway. He's got more firepower. He's got more health. The Marv is in a heavy damage mode, but it can repair itself. The Redeemer is repairing itself as well. It's just Redeemer versus Marv. Redeemer versus Marv. Who's going to win? I can't see any reinforcements coming in. There's some. There's two M buggies coming in, so Eclipse is going to have to change targets here. And he's not going to change targets. No, he gets amped. He gets amped, and the second buggy doesn't actually get amped, so it's going to be able to re amp straight away again. And Eclipse is going to lose his Marv. Oh, man. He had all the time in the world to recover all those juggernauts and fortify his position, and they just didn't do it. He just went straight back for the Marv. He didn't need it. I mean, Technic didn't have a Redeemer. He could have just done that with infantry. And I'm not sure what Eclipse is going to do here. A lot of riflemen out here. Sells the space upland command, can't afford it anymore. Not selling off one of these refineries. There you go, big sell off here. He's going to sell it all up. I mean, essentially, aside from the Redeemer, Technic hasn't got much. He's just trying to pump out a lot of bikes. And uh, while they do have a lot of firepower, they just don't have the armor. They'll be vaporized by really anything that Eclipse builds against them. Zone Troopers out again. He's going straight back for another Marv. And he's always oh, got to watch out. Yeah, those Cabals there, they're going to just destroy those Zone Trooper squads there. Still hasn't captured that spike. And if you think about it, how long this game's gone on for, that's, that spike really could have helped him. And these Riflemen here, they should be able to kill the Cabal squads, even though they're both upgraded. Uh, the Cabal squads might actually... No, they're, they're going to get focused down far too quickly. Really. Uh, Technic didn't respond quick enough there. He may have been able to win, but, uh, win, but uh, yeah, there's four squads there in formation. Those five squads, all five squads are still there. He didn't actually kill a single squad. He just damaged them. And uh, let's see, what is Technique going to do? Oh, he recovered both the husks as well. And Technique showing Eclipse how it's done. I'm sorry, Eclipse. But uh, really, if, if you look back on a game, you can... People say, oh, there's mistakes this and mistakes that. I mean, if, if no one made a mistake, no one would win. And no one would lose any units, right? It's not really a mistake. It's a forced error. I mean, you can't play perfectly here. And uh, Technique's just showing that his decision-making is just a little bit better than Eclipse in this game. So if Eclipse is watching this game back and... Uh, depending on not whether he loses this game, he can probably pinpoint it down to not being uh, able to readily uh, uh, re-establish those husks and now Technique has a hold of them. I mean, he had hold of this position deep inside Technique's base for such a long time and just couldn't recover those husks. And here you go, he's going to capture this Tiberian Spike. So the, the very late game uh, thought process is coming into to power for Eclipse now. And he's going double Orca Airfield, which will really help him in the... Mu and he's actually, you know, he's just going to go single Orca Airfield. I think he's going to sell one up because he just transferred it over. I don't think he can afford double Orca Airfield right now, and he knows it. Yeah, especially with this uh, bike buggy coming out. I mean, the Marv and the Juggernauts can ho handle that, but, I mean, he hasn't got any Juggernauts now, has he? He's going to lose the remainder of these structures. He should probably just sell them. He can't hope to save them. Battle marker up here. Technic is losing harvesters. That's pretty bad. There's not much Tibibri ti ti Tibibrium. <laughs> Tibirium. There we go, Tech, uh, <coughs> what do you call it, Eclipse selling up a little bit there, but he just leaves two power plants behind just so he's got enough uh, power to rebuild the remaining power plants. And he sold his MCV, so there you go, he sold his MCV, and this, oh, this is vulnerable, tier 2 plus these two upgraded power plants, and yeah, Technique just, he can't say that, he just immediately sells it all up. A lot of Rifleman squad down here too for, uh, for uh, what do you call it? Eclipse, they must just be from solid structures, perhaps. We've got a lot of battle markers coming over here. Redeemer and the Juggernauts is down here. Oh, no. And, oh, no. Eclipse, he sold his MCV, so his Marv is way, way, way out of position. Technique could just completely destroy the remaining buildings. Another Harvester going down there. He's got Bike Buggy. He's got two Juggernauts. He's got the Redeemer. There's Predator tanks here. I think he was just counting on the Bike Buggy rolling in, but now he realizes, oh, holy crap, the Redeemer is here. And he doesn't have an MCV. And what's he going to do? The Orcas are immediately being recalled. But the Marv is so far out of position. I don't think he can hope uh, to win this game uh, just by pulling the Marv back. He could destroy Technique's remaining structures. But I think Technique can just emp and buy time. Uh, the Orcas now, that's a good decision to go for the Juggernauts. Because he can destroy them. He can destroy them and reduce the fire pack. Because remember, this Redeemer doesn't have flame. There's no flame. He actually destroys the Husks as well. He probably could have left them there. Because I reckon he could have probably got them. But there's no flame on the Redeemer. So he can actually, he can't flame these structures down. He's got to manually shoot them. 
and there is no MCV being reproduced for Eclipse. He's actually trying to build aircraft and repair. That was not going to work at all. And meanwhile, the Marv is slowly making its way to Technic Space. He has some bike buggy here. He's got the end buggies. I just feel that the Marv is going to be completely outdone. And oh man, the Orcas. The Orcas, no. They go down on the deck and the Redeemer goes veteran because of that. That's really bad. I think Eclipse is just getting picked apart. He's only got a few buildings left now. He can't stop the Redeemer and his army up here of just basically rifles and that, that quad ram R, which is extremely powerful. But I think a bit too much reliance on the epic unit here for Eclipse and that really cost him the game. You know, he can look back at this game. Oh no, Technic's actually pulling back. He must have seen the Marv and he'd be like, oh holy crap, I gotta defend this out. He probably doesn't realize these are Eclipse's last buildings. He must have he must have thought that Eclipse has moved his MCV somewhere else. He's like, holy crap, I need to defend this Marv. Or else I'm gonna lose the game. And he's pulling his uh, his Redeemer back. What a massive bluff here by uh, Eclipse and he's actually gonna be able to fire these guys with the, uh, the uh, rockets here. He may be going for another, uh, what do you call it? He may be going for another MCV right now. Thought he was beaconing it there, but no, that's just the effects. And this quad rail Marv, and the, he needs to get the end buggy. Yes, he's going to have to micro this Marv like crazy. The Redeemer now is trying to pull its way back up here. But, I mean, essentially this Marv is so powerful. He needs to get the end off. He's got enough end buggies. You see, you can see that he's just waiting. He's just waiting. He's just making sure that he has enough end buggies. Because he, he doesn't want to go in, but if he doesn't have enough, Rage Gen goes off the rifles just about just basically decimate each other. And the Obelisk goes down here. What's Technique got remain? Not a lot. The Marv now trying to just pick apart these defenses. And it's Sam Tower there. He doesn't really need that anymore. I mean, all the Orcas are gone. And these forces here are actually fighting. There's a lot of Rocket Squads there causing a lot of pain to the Redeemer. I think he's not going to get it, though. He might have, should have just focused down some of the bikes. Perhaps, yeah, he's going to lose these forces here. So that's unfortunate for Eclipse. He does have a, a veteran Marv now, but can he really destroy the remaining structures? And Technique is getting desperate for him. He really could have won that game by just destroying the remaining structures, but he didn't know there was no Konya, but he's got so many amp buggies, he should be able to roll in here. And he gets the amp off, and there really is no way to, for Eclipse to save his Marv now. Technique can just continue to amp it. And there's really no, you can see he's just, he's moving his, his amp buggies into position there, yeah. Just re-amping the tip core, causing a lot of damage there. You can see it's just coming in, even a veteran Marv, it's not gonna last long. Putting the amps on again, What's happening down here? Flame units coming down here to destroy the remainder of the structures. But I think Eclipse is probably going to be uh, bowing out of this game through a over-reliance on the Epic unit. You can see that at this stage of the game, there was just... I mean, even today, there's still an over-reliance on the Epic unit here, but that was just crazy. He could have uh, easily pressured Technique in that game without the Epic unit, and uh, it just set him back. It, it set him back. You know, in the, at that stage of the game, don't just rebuild your Epic unit. It's going to set you back. You know, you've got the upper hand. If you just uh, build an Epic unit now, I mean, because of the unit compositions out on the field, it's just it's just so slow and just a waste of time. He could have recovered the husk, he could have put infantry up there and just defended it. He didn't need the Marv as a meat shield because there was no Redeemer at that stage. He'd already destroyed it, and then really the only thing that Technique had was, was Bite Buggy, and you don't need, you know, such heavy armor against that. He could have just thrown some Preds and some Rockets up there. He would have been fine. The artillery could have just leveled everything that he had. He could have even put Hammerheads. He had Orcas still, but uh, Eclipse, unfortunately, a little bit of over-reliance there, and I'm not happy about that, but Eclipse... Uh, it's still, he played really well in that game. His aggression uh, at the first half of the game was very good in destroying, uh, shutting down Technic's multi conyarding as well as killing so many harmsters. That was really good. But I think in the late game, he may have dropped the ball. Technic made the decisions he needed to make. 25 minutes, 57 seconds, 153,523 to Eclipse, 175,223 to Technic. So we've got uh, 22,000 in favor of Technic for a 25 minute game. That's a, it's, it's not significant. I mean, it's a nice size. It's a nice group of bike buggy happening there. You can see he broke away. He's actually behind here. Look at all the harvest harassment really hurting him, but then Eclipse um, just quite, he, he got that surveyor out there, just chilled by his base all game. And uh, really, but uh, because uh, Technic was allowed to get the top field and it was just completely unharassed all game, you can see he just pulled ahead and he did mine a lot of the bottom right field there as well before Eclipse moved in. Eclipse, he just took too long. I think he just sat around for too long, didn't realize how far ahead he was didn't realize he had control of that area and he didn't move into it but uh he did make those decisions a little bit later on in the game but still there was some seriously awesome fights especially in techniques main base there that was really good that was a really entertaining game i can see why it's got so many web structures that's probably going to be wrong units up and down black hand will probably have more but that was probably infantry right there tends to be pro quite even there oh, technique lost a big battle there and then instantly recovered a lot that was probably selling a lot of structures off actually so there you go, 26 minutes, 25 minutes, 57 seconds. That was a really good game uh, from the archives. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm Green Zero, and I'll see you all next time.